Today at Carity Classics, we've taken a video of a 78 Camaro, taken a video of a 71 Camaro, and a 71 Nova. But now it's time to check out this 1978 Pontiac Firebird, kind of smoky the Bandit Edition, black with a gold bird, four speed, 400. Love the 78 Trans Ams. Comes with a factory build sheet as well, and it is a original black car with black interior. So, so many have been painted black after the Smokey and the Bandit series, but this is a genuine black car. And uh, I'll tell you what, it is straight as a string up and down the side. So really nice driver quality, local car show quality car. These, uh, these hoods are always kind of a trick. Push it down a little bit. We're gonna give a little education yep. on the hood. We're gonna teach. There you go. Under the hood looks pretty stock. You know, it's got, uh, it did come from the factory with a 400 four barrel factory four speed. And uh, that's exactly what it's got in it today. Um, it's got the shaker hood, was factory air conditioning, it's got power steering, power disc brakes, but no longer uh, has the belt. Uh, the air conditioning will need some work. Looks like a lot of stuff there. Yeah, that definitely does. Um, under the hood, not show quality like the rest of the car as far as the paint goes. Um, again, this makes it just a really nice driver. Yeah, it's like a lot of these trans in anyway. They have a lot of stuff under the hood. You know? But they do. They do. Very stock quality. You can drive this one anywhere. It's fun to drive, too. It's got some power still with that 400 in it. Oh, for sure. And uh, 78 was the last year with this uh, quad headlight design. They only had this quad headlight design in 77 and 78. Whereas in 79, they kind of spaced the headlights out a little bit. So, in my opinion, I really like these, these, these two model years especially. Very yeah. attractive car. Yeah. You know, it was Burt Reynolds' favorite year too, wasn't yes, it? it was. Look at the sides of the car. I mean, if you paint something black, everything shows. And you can tell it's been done a while ago, because, I mean, you can see a couple little spider web little things right here. It's got a few little imperfections. It's got a couple little chips. But overall, just the overall appearance of it looks great. Yeah, the paint's yeah. beautiful. Great shine, too. Mike buffed it out. You can shave anywhere in this car. You can see a little solvent pop or whatever you want to call it right here. If you get right on top of it real close by the bird. It's got a couple little things like that. But the back of the hood lines up really nice on both sides. Our gap's great. All the way down here to the bottom of the front fender. Uh, the bottom of the inside corner of the door and rocker line up beautifully. A couple little tiny chips down here. Just little rock chips. Um, and they were uh, these 17 inch, 225, 55 tires are light new and uh, unfortunately they're a little wider than the car so they will put a couple more chips in them. Back corner of the door lines up good. The dog leg back there is a nice shape. Just a couple little paint imperfections. Can't feel them. You can just see them just a little bit uh, there. As we go over top of the roof that's nice and straight as well. Super, super cool. I love listening to that engine rev. And on top of that, I'm a huge fan of these snowflake wheels, which were unique to the Trans Ams of this, of this era. And I think it just completes the car so, so nicely. I love the look of this car. I do too. And the, to go from the 15 inch from the factory to the 17s, it mm -hmm. really makes, a, makes it look great. Definitely makes a difference. Uh, go to our website, you guys, coyoteclassics.com. Um, if you go on there, what you're gonna see is a really solid undercarriage, the floors frame, Back behind the rear bumper, all that's very solid as well. The interior is uh, really original in different spots. You can look here, it's got the original seat cover still on it. So you got a couple little hairline cracks through the top part right here. Um, and you can just tell it's just, it's just kind of dry. As far as the seat belts, somebody at one point um, took the seat belts out of a different car, um, blue seat belts, and put in it. That's something that should be done, changed out. It's got the Hurst shifter. Um, gauge cluster is all original. Headliner's nice and tight. Back seat does have a couple little spots in the back we'll talk about also. And these little things I'm talking about really make this car the driver 
quality. You yeah. know what I mean? Like the seat belt, something easy to change. Maybe go ahead and uh, recover the seats if you want to. They're original. It's all personal preference items, but it uh, keeps this car in a price range where it's affordable. Yeah, like I said, the paint and body is, is beautiful, but most important thing, especially being a Trans Am, this one is super solid. Yeah. A lot of Trans Ams rotted out, not this one. Rear frame rails are shit. Yep. You know, just... Um, so this one, super solid. I don't know about you guys, but honestly, I really like the original seats. Kind of adds to the original quality of this car, and yeah. I like them original, so... It, it's a good point. Mm -hmm. and, you know, that we have a lot of customers that do like that, you know, but... Just depends your personal preference. We just want to make sure that stuff gets pointed out so you know exactly what you're buying. For sure. Over the wheel wells are perfect, no issues whatsoever there. Tiny little chip right here. Again, the bottom of the door lines up great, rocker panel. Check out how the lower fender matches up to the bottom of the door here as well. So it's just very good body work on this car, if it needed any at all. Um, inside stickers are all original. Bottom of the door is excellent, just like the floors. Um, door panel, right here, th this is a hard plastic. Back in the 60s, late 60s, these were a metal piece and Chevelles and Firebirds and all that. It went to a hard plastic piece, which obviously didn't last the test of time. So right here, you can tell that's nice and firm, but it is softer here. So the inside backing of that original door panel needs to be replaced. Another cool Trans Am quirk is right here on either side, you see these are functional vents that go straight into the en engine bay to keep the engine cool. Another kind of cool thing that the Trans Ams of this era had. And they're really ahead of their time. 1969, first year of the Trans Am. Yes, they were. Even though you don't ever see any, but uh, really cool car. We mentioned a couple little spots on the seat um, that need some work. Dash pad is in excellent shape. Windshield, it does have a, a hairline crack right here. I didn't notice the first couple of times I see it. Paint on the dash is nice. Seems to run really good. Uh, carries good oil pressure. RPM, factory tax set right now. RPM's only at uh, 5,000, I'm sorry, 500 RPM right now. Uh, amp gauge works, gas gauge works. Rear seats are really comfortable. Heater fan works as well. Are they pretty comfy back there? Yeah, they are. Okay. I like them. It's got the radial tuned suspension. Wipers work. I mean, this is the old school Kmart radio. Audio box, man. These were box the box? audio box. <laughs> These are the 39.95 ones back in the day. Was that a lot back in the day? No, I don't know. No, it's pretty cheap. As cheap as you can get them. Still in here, still working, I think. Well, I don't think any speakers are hooked up, but. I don't know who decides they want to park right my way here, do you? It wasn't me. Yeah. <laughs> There we go, Bird. Oh, yeah. Wish I had Bird's buddy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so here's the brakes. That's what makes this car such a fantastic driver. The brakes stop nice and straight. We got a really good pedal. We had a second gear scratch there going from first to second. Just a lot of power and just a fantastic car. Idled right down, too. time real quick because it's got some serious power most of the trans ams look really good but they just don't have the power mm -hmm. that's why yeah. what's nice about the 78s and the 404 speed exactly
no vibrations, no nothing. Is there? No, here's your brakes, too, coming in hot. Really brakes hot. stop you perfect. Really hot. There you go. Hey, okay. and it's still running. So many times you pump the brakes super hard like that and come to a stop on a low idle car ready and mm -hmm. it'll die. Yeah. So that was good. Not this old bird. Pull on from that side. You had an ultimate trust in me. I trust. I had faith in you. Trust in your dad. Yep. This is a great car. I mean, whoever drives this is going to buy it. It drives awesome. I fell in love the first time we got it in. Just, just the sound. The sound of the power. Um, the quality of the, the steering and the brakes and the paint. I think I can look through a little bit of interior work. Yep. I mean, that's the easiest stuff to do. Absolutely. That's something you know, that... Clean up under the hood just a little bit. Something that, you know, you can learn on YouTube how to do different little things and stuff like that with the interior stuff. But the main thing is having a solid car and a mechanical You said car. it right there. A solid car. You can't go in here and start gut in the interior, fixing rust holes and patches and frame rails and yep. I mean, this thing is awesome that way. And the paint. I hear it all the time, well, I don't care about the running of it, I don't care about this, but I can't do paint body work. Well, if you're looking for a car that, <laughs> that you don't want to do any paint body work to, and even mechanics for that matter, just a little tinker, and this is the car. Absolutely. You like to slow her way down and then get on her again. I'm just going to turn this corner. brakes one last time water temperature came up to it's doing about uh, running about 140 right now so the factory gauge works awesome check this thing out on the website coyoteclassics.com link in the description and thank you for watching